So I started off DaVinci Resolve as a complete noob, and there's actually a very amazing tool in here that I wasn't utilizing for literally years, and it cost me so much time, and those are called adjustment clips. I'm gonna show you exactly what they are, a few kind of tips and tricks and different things you can do with them, and what makes them so amazing. So as we jump in here, I'm just using some clips from my other gaming channel where I made some videos for, so the actual video I'm using here, not as important, you can use these in the type of projects that you work on. Now, first of all, where are adjustment clips? Now they're under the toolbox, click on effects, and boom, they're right up there at the top. Now by themselves, adjustment clips are absolutely nothing, but when you put them over a video, that's where you get their power unleashed. Now, anything that you would normally do to edit the different transforms for a video, you can go ahead and put on the adjustment clips. And there's even open effects and a million different things you could do on adjustment clips. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. And I'm gonna show you one of the most common things that people do with these adjustment clips for YouTube, and that is a quick punch in. So that's when it plays along, and then you say something that you wanna maybe make some more emphasis on. We'll go ahead and drag the adjustment clip directly to it, and we'll go ahead and just zoom in and then move it over onto about where my face is. So as it plays forward, it cuts into where my face is, and let's say right here, I want it to go ahead and end. You can cut it right off and bam. But you know what? Now that it's done, I actually think I want it to be a little bit longer. So let's just go ahead and you can just, boom, drag it out instantly. Now, if you were editing this on your actual video right here, you would have to have the zoom, you'd have to have keyframes for when it to start, when it to stop. And then if you wanted to change it, you'd have to get rid of the keyframes, make new keyframes, et cetera, et cetera. But for this, for adjustment clips, you can drag them out and it's gonna be for starting whenever you drag it out to and it'll stop whenever it ends. And on top of that, there's even more that makes this absolutely amazing. Let's say later on you want to have it do the literal exact same thing to emphasize something. You can go ahead and just hold down Alt and drag across and it automatically copies it. Or, of course, the way you copy anything, Control and hit C and then wherever you want it to start and Control and hit V. And that's copy and paste. So they're unlimitedly copyable and pasteable to keep having the exact same effect happen over and over wherever you want to zoom in to emphasize something or no matter what you do on the adjustment clips. Another example, let's say it's playing forward and then from right now, I want it to go ahead and do a dynamic zoom in on my face. Here is another great use for it. We're gonna go ahead and grab the adjustment clip, drag it over, select the adjustment clip and over in the inspector, just go ahead and turn on dynamic zoom. Now it's gonna be going from out to in right here and that's actually the exact way that I want it. But the only thing is, is I would like it to zoom in on a different area. So under this drop down, come over here and click on dynamic zoom. When it brings up the menu here, I want it to go at about that speed. I think that's correct of how I want to use it. If you go ahead and make this bigger or smaller, it will change how fast or slow it does the dynamic zoom. Well, we want it about right here. I'm wanting to come in sort of towards my face, towards my eyes. You can see the line in which it will be traveling. Go ahead and select that and turn it off. So now as it plays forward at that very instant when it starts, you can see it starting to do its dynamic zoom. Another great choice, another great way to use adjustment clips. So another thing that's amazing about adjustment clips is that it does affect everything underneath that adjustment clip. So we're gonna drag it up to a different track and go ahead and grab a title and put it underneath it. Let's say right next to my head, I want to go ahead and say, hello. We're gonna change the color just to make it a little bit more visible. The uh, exact color is gonna be a dependent on the project and Yes, this text is pretty bland and boring, but we'll just say we'll put it right there. Now, as you can see, the text is not moving, but if the video was actually zooming in, the text would stay still and the video would be zooming in and out or moving left and right. We're going to go ahead and backspace, backspace, backspace that. But if you put it directly underneath the adjustment clip, as it zooms in, you notice the text is also being zoomed in in the dynamic zoom at the exact same time. That's because everything underneath this adjustment clip right here will be affected by any effect that you put on it. So over on this other clip right here, as it plays forward, I find an item and I'm kind of surprised. I look directly at the camera. It's kind of a funny reaction. So we want to emphasize that reaction. So we're going to go ahead over to effects, grab the adjustment clip, and we're going to put it right over here. Here's just another example of something that you could go ahead and do. Now, as it plays forward, just before my head snaps, I'm going to want to zoom in on my face. When I go ahead and look, I want it to also be black and white. So Having this adjustment clip on the top, we're going to click on the color tab and then just select monochrome and that turns it to black and white. As you can see, none of it is on the actual clip. It's all on the adjustment clip. So right here's where you want it to start. Play forward. And just after I laugh, I wanted to cut it off and boom, that's how far I want it. 
But you know what? I've changed my mind. Here's the benefit of the adjustment clip. We want it to instead play out to here. We'll drag it out to there. So that is now how long the actual transformation that we're putting on this clip is going to last now. It's that easy. And once again, you can copy it as many times as you want. Another great way I love to use this is the type of I call it the troll effect. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to change it to black and white. Once again, I got that adjustment clip and then we're going to go down to open effects. And like I said, you could put anything. You could go ahead and blur it out if you wanted to. Any of these open effects you can put on this adjustment clip. I'm going to go ahead and grab vortex. But because I wanted to go ahead and be a little less powerful, we'll go ahead and do that. And we're going to move it right onto my face while I'm talking. You see how it kind of messes up your face? So I find that incredibly comical for the type of troll look. Now make sure you're experimenting around with adjustment clips because they're absolutely amazing and they can be a huge time saver. If this video helped you out at all, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe up so you never miss any of the future DaVinci Resolve or just general content creation type of videos. Peace out and I'll catch you in the next one.